Hey guys, Shane Storms with DroidForums.net. You know me better as DroidModderX. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Atom Launcher. This is a launcher with the minimalist fan in mind. So you'll notice at the top you have a status bar here that gives you the time, the battery percentage, and the date. If you click the arrow, you can add all kinds of stuff. You can add widgets. So you can add either widgets from your system or you can add Atom widgets. Now some of these widgets you'll have to download, like the digital clock. It wasn't available right off the bat. I had to download that it's, and then install it there. You also have theming options. You can go with any of these pre-installed themes or you can load uh, other launcher themes. You can change the icons. You can change the color. So now if we go back, our status bar there is green. You have some other launcher settings. And then you can go to your phone settings. If you swipe up, you get some more settings here. You can add a filter like water or light. You can go to the effect. And then you can choose transparency. Of course, to add an application or a widget, simply click the plus button there and you can add an application widget or you can change your wallpaper. Of course, this launcher is very lightweight and very fluid, very fast, and it's going to give your device a whole new look and feel. You guys probably want to head to the source link below and check out the Atom Launcher. Anyways, guys, that about wraps it up for the Atom Launcher. This has just been a quick review of the launcher itself. You can find more of me at droidforums.net, where I do a lot of writing. Thanks, guys, for watching. I'll see you in the forums.